All right, time now for our weekly Ask the Doctor segment, and the doctor is in. Uh, joining me tonight, Dr. Beth Collins. She's double board certified in plastic and reconstructive surgery. It is nice to see you again, Good Dr. Collins. Good to see Collins. you. All right, we're going to talk about shingles tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, you hear about this, you see ads on television mm -hmm. for stuff. Shingles is a virus that comes with a really painful rash, and this can really knock somebody for a loop when they get shingles, right? Yes, people get very ill with this. It's a quite a painful illness. Now, shingles is a reactivation of the chicken pox virus. So pretty much probably by after the age of 40, about 90% of us in this country have had chicken pox, whether you know it or not. Right. And what happens is after you recover, it tends to go to sleep or dormant in the nerve cells in your body. And then later on in life, when you're exposed to a stressor or maybe your immune system is knocked out, for some other reason, yeah. that virus gets reactivated and you end up with the shingles, which is the same virus but sort of different symptoms. So you have to have chicken pox to get shingles, right? You do. So you had to have it. So what are the symptoms? This hurts, right? People who had it say it's really painful. It's extremely painful. It usually starts with uh, a, a prodrome or symptoms like uh, malaise. Maybe you'll have a little bit of pain someplace. What's that first word you used? I don't know what <laughs> that word means. You feel tired. No, I know malaise. Just, pro, what did you say? Pro oh, prodrome. So a, a something that's not really particularly specific to the illness. Okay. Like you'll, you'll get warning signs, essentially. You'll feel fatigue, maybe a fever. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the pain starts to come, and then in two or four, two to four days, you may blossom in that blistering rash that it was very typical. It tends to be along the line of that nerve root, so it may be along the side of your chest or in one specific area, or even a more dangerous area if it comes on the face. It could affect the eyes, so it's something that we really do want to avoid. Yeah. Getting. So so this, let's say this happens, you, you get this, mm -hmm. we, we know it hurts, what do you do, how do you treat it? The first thing you do obviously is go to the doctor and they're going to treat it with, with pain medicine and antiviral medication and really it is just about uh, getting rest and trying to build up your immune system to fight it on its own. But then there's also the vaccination against it. So there is a vaccine, there's a right. shot out there you can get, but there's a catch because you need to be of a certain age to get the shot, right? Right, right. so the Centers for Disease Control uh, suggests that you get the shot after the age of 50. The trick there is that the, the vaccine only lasts somewhere between five to 10 years. So if you get it at age 50, it's not going to carry you through into the older years where you are actually more likely to get it. Because it can be a bigger deal if a 70-year-old gets shingles than if a 50-year-old guy gets shingles, right? right? So some, some doctors suggest putting it off until your later, you know, mid-50 mid range to get the vaccine, but, you know, you're sort of playing with, with fire. So the trick is to keep yourself healthy, um, avoid medications that would tend to um, put you at risk for getting it, things that suppress the immune system, and try to, try to keep the stress levels down. Yeah. And it, I always ask your doctor, you got questions about the shot, go ask your doctor, That's right? That's right. And the doctors and Dr. Beth Collins, we're glad to see you again. Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. If you'd like to see any of Dr. Beth's interviews, we have them all on our website online right now at WTNH.com.